Hey guys, it's John with the Super 701. I uh, mentioned in the video here not long ago that I was going to try out a Duke prop, and that's that's what I'm getting ready to do. What's still on here is actually the whirlwind that I've been using the, essentially the life of this plane, 500 hours now. Um, I have no complaints with this prop. It's been a, it's been a beast. You've seen some of the some of the competitions and stuff stuff I've been doing with it. So it's it's been a been a great prop. But I wanted to try something different. So anyway, I've got the Duke prop sitting over here in the in the nice Duke box. Um, they've done an excellent job packing this stuff. So let's dig in and see what it's all about. All right, so you can see I've already got the box open. I've been through it and I put everything back in here, but just, just to make the video easier, I figured I'd go ahead and go through it and get everything ready to get out and sit out easily. So anyway, very nice box. It's all in one box. Uh, you turn to the box and you have, have all kinds of paperwork, uh, delivery notes, you have instruction manuals. It's all, all packaged very nicely. They have a, a really nice prop pitch tool. I'm kind of anxious to see how well it works. It looks like it should be a very nice setup. Uh, essentially, you'll just clamp it on the, the Duke prop blade and, and be able to look at the dial and set your angle on each blade that way. Uh, I'll try to go through that as I set it up too. One thing straight out of the box that's absolutely amazing is this this spinner, uh, carbon fiber spinner. I think that's really, really going to jazz up my Super 701. I'm kind of excited about this whole thing just for the spinner. This is amazing. I'll sit it right over here where you guys can kind of look at it while I'm going through stuff. Uh, they, they actually have the, the blocks and everything for that. The, the Whirlwind does not have the cutouts for the back of the notches. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll get you a picture of it. Um, this actually has the notch blocks, so it's, it's a very, very nice spinner. Anyway, lots of packing. They, like I say, they've done a good job packing this stuff. Um, they have blade, blade covers. Very nice to fill out like neoprene, maybe. Next in the box, uh, in its own special foam container that's taped up and packaged really well also, is the prop hub. And I'll let the Duke guys tell you more about it. This is essentially a, a forged carbon hub. So it's, it's actually really very light. It's, it's amazing what they, they're able to do with this technology now. And then next, so it comes with everything supplied, bolts to hook everything up with the hub to the, the prop flange. I've got the swirl blades. This is the ground adjustable. It's a swirl 2R. Uh, the, the R is for the reinforce, which you need for the, the UL power, uh, 130 horsepower has, has a pretty big power pulse per each cylinder so they have to have the reinforced to be able to make that work and I'm, of course I'm setting this on a nice cushion here I don't want it to get scratched on the floor there's two blades I tell you what I'm going to leave this third one in here and get out the phone so you guys can kind of see how it was packaged because it's like I say, they've done a really, really good job with the packaging on this stuff. I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, each blade has its individual place to go inside this foam. It's, it's a form type foam. Uh, they've just, they've done a really nice job all around with the packaging. So I'll leave that there. Anyway, that's basically it. They also sent a I think this is a five millimeter prop spacer. Um, it's a spacer for the hub. Some people need them to be able to get a little extra distance there between the spinner and your cowling. And I'm not sure that I'll need it, but we'll try it and see, see where it comes out to with my cowl. So the, the game plan here is I'm gonna do a lot of testing weighing. I'm gonna weigh the complete uh, prop, get you a scale weight, see how much it weighs. When I remove the whirlwind, I'm going to do the same thing with it. So we're going to we're going to see what the actual usable weight difference is between this ready to bolt onto the 
um, prop hub or flange versus the Duke, which I, I'm sure the Duke will be lighter. Just because of this really cool. Wow, it's, this is impressive when you look at it. Um, the, the whole carbon forged prop hub, it's, it's really quite light and it's, it's amazing it can withstand that, but we, I'm anxious to see how it works and get this thing rolling. So I have a, a pull scale, a weighing scale. Um, I intend, like I said, I intend to weigh both of these completely ready to run, compare them. I'm also gonna use the scale to check thrust. So once I get everything operational, my intention is to, to chain this airplane down with the scale in the chain line. Um, I've got the whirlwind prop set for a, a, a pretty major cruise right now. It's, I fly with a bunch of the, you know, the carbon cubs and stuff that can fly faster. So I need to be able to fly toward the upper end of the, closer to the VNE for the 701 and, and the higher pitch angle lets me do that. So. I'll check the thrust on both of these props and I want to check it four different ways. So I'm going to start with the whirlwind since it's already on here and it's already set to my, my cruise pitch. Um, I'll chain the airplane down and I'll do a, a full throttle just for a few seconds to see and be able to get a, a scale reading for the thrust on my cruise setting of my whirlwind prop. Um, then I'm going to take the cowl off and I'm going to do the exact same test without the cowl just to see how much variance there is between cowl versus no cowl with the same prop setting. Um, after that, I'm going to reset the pitch on this whirlwind. I'm going to set it to my competition where I get the higher RPM. So I'm going to flatten the, the blade pitch. Um, I'm going to do another pull test with that at, at 3,100 RPM or so. Um, Give or take a little, I'm gonna get it where it's more of the competitive setting. Once I get that done, I'm gonna remove the whirlwind prop. I'm gonna assemble this Duke prop and install it. And of course, it'll probably take a little bit of tweaking to get RPM numbers similar. My intention is to get RPMs as similar as possible to with my whirlwind so I can get a, a relatively decent comparison between the, the thrust on both. So anyway, and, I'm, and I may fly with both. I'm not sure yet. I, I, know, I know I need to, so I, I'll probably go ahead and take the time to fly this Duke prop with the um, pitch set for a pretty stout competition. May do that first, and then I'll fly it just a little bit, and then I'll come back in and reset it for the full cruise pitch RPM like I had with the Whirlwind, and we'll just, we'll compare. Hopefully it's apples to apples, and, um, you know, I've been talking with the Duke guys for, for over a year now, and we've got a, a ground adjustable here to try out. So I'm, I'm anxious to try it and see how it compares to the Whirlwind. Um, to be honest, I'm a little bit skeptical just because I've, I'm used to the Whirlwind. It's done a great job for me. Um, really have no complaints with it. Uh, the, Dukes, the Dukes are getting very popular. Um, I know they do a lot of testing with the airfoil design with their blades as well as helicopter blades and all kinds of that, that type of stuff. So I know there's a lot of engineering and thought process that went into this uh, blade. So anyway, with that being said, well, let's get to work. I'm gonna pull this thing out and chain it down and we'll see what it does. Check with you after a while, see ya.